What is up guys? It is the iPhone movement and I'm here to show you guys how to jailbreak the iPhone 4 on 5.0.1. Um, I'm using Sprint which is a CDMA version of the iPhone. If you have AT&T you need to use the, U the um, GSM version of the firmware to jailbreak it. Now if you have 5.0.1 you are going to need the 5.0 firmware to unlock the original firmware. You cannot unlock I mean, sorry, not unlock. You cannot jailbreak the 5.0.1 firmware with the 5.0.1 firmware, if that makes any sense, because Red Snow, Red Snow does not support it. So download the 5.0. It does not matter if you have 5.0.1. It will work, and it will work out on the end. This will be a tether jailbreak, but that is nothing, because when the untether jailbreak comes out, you could untether it, and I'll show you guys how to do that, too. Um... Yeah, so let's go. So you're going to need iTunes. Um, let's open up iTunes. I'm sorry, guys. I'm doing this with one hand. I'm doing this the best I can and the quickest I can. This is my first time doing this, too. What's the first thing you're going to do? Put in GFU. All right. So you're going to hold your, your lock button and your home button for 10 seconds together. Don't turn it off. Just hold the both of them for 10 seconds. After that, keep holding the... After the 10 seconds, keep holding the, the home button for as long as iTunes says you're iPhone, iPod, or whatever is in DFU mode. Okay, so I'm back, guys, and the iPhone is in DFU mode. That's simple to do. Everybody knows how to do that. Okay, let's go to, um, let's go to Cydia. You can exit this out. I mean, not Cydia. Let's go to, um, Red Snow, because you, you can exit this out, because Red Snow closes it anyways. Um, open up Red Snow. I have Windows 7, so I don't need to run as administrator. Go to Extras. Select IPSW. This is simple, guys. This is simple. They're very simple. Then you go to your 5.0 firmware. Do not do the 5.0.1 because I'm an idiot and I did that before. And a lot of you must have done it too. So, yeah. Remember. Yep. Here we go. It's so 5.0 firmware. It's 781 megabytes. See, but someone's recognized it. Let's go back. And let's click jailbreak. Preparing jailbreak. Do, 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 do. Just click install CD, that's all you need. Click next. So yeah, just doing the regular things on CD. Remember use the the 5.0 um firmware, not the 5.0.1, just remind you guys, just in case it's not working. Right now I'm using Red Snow Beta 6 because my beta 8 wasn't working. So yeah, whatever. Doesn't matter, I guess it's working now, as you can see. <clears throat> So I'll be back when the jailbreak is done. So what's up, guys? We've jailbroken the i the iPhone, iPod, or your iPhone 3GS. But you can see Cydia is white, which means it's a tethered jailbreak. So you're gonna have to every time your phone dies out, you are gonna have to um, restart your phone using Cydia. So let's do that. So let's go back. Select your IPSW again, same one. Um, let's go back. No, sorry, let's go to extras. Ah, let me do that again. Okay, and then you're gonna click just boot tether now. Um, you you're gonna click next, and your your device is gonna have to be on DFU mode once again. So you put that in DFU mode. So let's go to next. Hold the phone. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yep, there you go. So we're waiting here until it, te it reboots Tether. And once it's done that, I'll be back. Guys, everything is done now. You, you're, you're jailbroken on 5.0.1 by using the 5.0 firmware. Everything should be working fine. Cydia should have color on your iPod, iPhone 3GS, and iPhone 4. Um, and yeah, um, thanks for watching my video. Please subscribe for more future, for future videos. And if you guys are having problems with anything, leave a comment down below. And I could help you guys with anything. Thank you.